Well, hello, my beautiful Leo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your bonus twin flame reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. Just to let you know, I have done a general love reading for August, but this is the twin flame reading. So if you feel like you're in a twin flame connection, then this reading is for you. Okay, my beautiful Leo, let's get straight to your reading. For those of you who are interested, I'm using Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue to get the overall energy of what they'd like to talk about. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. We have passion to start. I expect nothing less for my beautiful Leos. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? regarding their twin flame connection now this is very important it hit this coconut bowl very very hard so this is a very important message and it was trust okay so while i get the other messages there's something to think about there is what they're giving me Ooh, thank you so much spirit guys great angels for those of you who are new to my channel i take jumpers from the pack i do not choose the card as i believe that is my energy and not the message you're meant to receive everyone is different there is no right or wrong way um, but I will not rush the messages and equally you must fast forward these moments because I don't like to waste your time. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of drama going on here, Leo. So we have passion to open here and, uh, it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Now, my beautiful Leo, what they're giving me with this energy is... Your twin flame connection um, may have ended um, in not a favorable way where, where you may have uh, felt uh, like hiding yourself away, um, hiding your shine as it were. It feels like um, the twin flame energy may have even tried to put your candle out. This person almost tried to um, escape the connection so much so that they pushed you away really hard. Um, almost to deny their feelings. Now, they, they recognize the passion with you is off the charts, okay? Um, and you're being reminded here not to, um, not to hide your, your wonderful light, your unique um, spirit and personality away. You're very original, you're very creative, um, you're very exciting to be with, and um, that may have been chipped away at and you may feel wounded um, in, in some way and that you've gone into kind of a recluse mode is what I'm giving. They're actually giving, showing me the hermit card, um, the actual image of the traditional Rider Waite hermit. So you may have gone in uh, within for uh, healing, but also for a, a personal sort of quest for truth and um, alone time. There's a solitude. Um, that I'm getting with this card. Now, Leos, you know, you like your alone time, I totally get it, but you're very sociable creatures. Um, uh, you, you like um, giving your wonderful energy to your friends and family or to uh, those in your uh, soul tribe, as it were. Um, so it's unusual for you to take such a long time withdrawn. So they're really indicating um, for you to open yourself up and remember this passionate spirit that you have because that's the thing that romantic partners, um, especially Twin Flame, is very, very connected to. Um, so this person, this Twin Flame of yours may have tried to put your flame out because they're running from the connection. But not only that, uh, they did some damage where they felt... Oh, I'm getting a breeze here, so this is definitely a message for somebody out there. Um, what they're giving me here, uh, just to indicate if you're new to my channel, I don't have any windows over here. We have windows over here, but they're closed. Um, so uh, sometimes I get like breezes that give me indications that I'm speaking to someone in particular. Um, but what they're giving me here is your twin flame may have left in a way that it damaged your connection so that they feel like they, they're not ready to be with you right now, but they don't want anyone else to have you. Very selfish energy, but the twin flame journey is very um, painful when they're in the, in the separation mode, especially when one of the twin flame recognizes that the other is the counterpart and one of um, the, the other twin flame 
denies the connection and and runs as it were denies the connection cuts it off does whatever it can to sever it because they're in denial and they're clouded in their intuition they block it on purpose so spirit is reminding you let that passion of yours shine you're incredible you don't need to um you need, don't need to hide yourself at this present moment in time and actually uh this is one of the things that will draw that uh, twin flame of yours right back to you, uh, they're indicating this person, your twin flame actually wants to sweep you off your feet, but they're damn scared of this connection. It's very deep with you. Um, so they may be keeping, we're gonna go deeper and find out. Um, this person dreams about you all the time. The, 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 you're always on this person's mind. And it's this romantic thing that they've got where they wanna sweep you off your feet, but you're so strong, Leo. They're giving me very strong. You're actually very strong, independent, and whilst you'd love to be swept off your feet, um, there is an energy here where this person feels like, from where they're standing at this moment in time, your twin flame feels like you're doing fine by yourself. Um, what do I have to offer the connection? You're very strong, very independent. So this person's a little bit scared. Uh, they've got a lot of fears, this person, this twin flame. They're, they're scared how deep the connection goes, but also they're scared that they have nothing to offer you. Um, all they can give you is passion, but that's not true. They're, they, they need to uh, love themselves a little bit more and, and that's their lesson is what I'm giving, uh, getting from this. Um, yeah, their lesson is to love themselves more fully uh, because there was a mirrored energy here. So if you felt like this person did not love you um, and made you feel like you were not enough, Leo, then they were projecting. Now we have trust because this connection, uh, very, very painful. And it says this situation is calling for you to have faith. Now, you may have uh, started to give up on this situation and because it knocked that uh, coconut bowl. Um, oh. One moment, please. They'll give me a message. I just need to check in with that. Hmm. I understand. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. So you may have, um, what they're giving me here is you may have um, thought about disconnecting fully from this connection uh, with your twin flame. You can never break a, a bond, um, the, the twin flame bond, but you can uh, choose to uh, uh, not uh, connect with your twin flame. It will lead to a lot of pain and you will always think back to each other, but you do have uh, free will and if you can't write the, the toxic cycles or whatever in the, and learn the lessons in this lifetime, then you will find each other in another lifetime. Um, just so you're aware of the twin flame connection. But what they're giving me here is the coconut is significant. Now, um, what they're giving me is um, that this person, your twin flame, very hard on the outside, very, very hard, almost like they're giving me tough, tough nut to crack, but it's tough coconut to crack. OK, so you really have to bang this person's head metaphorically, not not uh, uh, truly or realistically or literally um, against a brick wall before they even noticed first how deep this connection went. But then they started to get the feels and you got deep, you, you, you went past that hard exterior and you got into where the, you know, the soft flesh is and the liquid. There's a lot of enrichment in this person. This very, this person's actually deep down got a very beautiful soul, very, um, the energy I'm picking up on your twin flame is this person's got a lot to give, but it's hard to get. Okay, so um, it takes a lot of time and a lot of trust, and a lot of faith to get through to this person because they're so damn stubborn. Okay, they got a very tough exterior that they may have learned in childhood um, is what they're giving me here. Um, okay, I understand. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, this person that you're dealing with, your twin flame, they like to manipulate the situation. They call love on their own time. They call the shots. Now, Leo, this is not an energy that you're used to because uh, you like... Um, it to be balanced here, um, but this uh, they're indicating some sort of uh, manipulation here. Um, they're they're highlighting this masculine figure, and again, gender specific reading. This is not one of those. This is about male or female energy. It's not about uh, the gender that I'm picking up. It's about the energy. So this masculine figure here is holding like a stick or a wand up to the cupid, preventing cupid from shooting that arrow. That. Cupid was ready to get that arrow and say, right, okay, you, you finally realize this person is the one and that masculine figure there is like, hold on a minute, not just yet. And this feminine figure is completely besotted, okay? So what they're giving me here is this, um, your twin flame, they call 
yeah, they call the shots. It's almost like they saw love coming. They knew it was coming. They're like, hold on a moment. Just hold it right there. I'm not ready for this. Okay. I recognize that Leo is falling for me hard. I recognize that there's something special about this connection that I've never felt with anyone else. I don't know what this shit is. I need to walk away and I need to figure this shit out. Okay. So this person put it on hold. Um, but Cupid is, Cupid is still waiting. Okay. And actually, um, this person is waking up. Interesting. This person is waking up to, um, your connection. They realize that you have past life relationship. They know that this connection goes deeper. They don't know what it is. They're really questioning it right now. And it says you have known each other before. So you will again, obviously find each other in other lifetimes if it does not work out in this one. But we're going to go deeper and find out what energy we're, we're connecting to here. This person likes to control the situation. They're suspicious of anything they do not understand. And life has taught them that. This comes a deep seated um, from childhood, okay? There is some sort of childhood wounding around trust and manipulating the situation to suit their needs and their needs are to be protected, okay? This person protects this, the soft center, um, protects them quite deeply, themselves quite deeply. Um, so they come off ac across as not having any feelings or being really tough on the outside. Um, they've asked me to look at this card a bit, bit deeper, so I will, one moment, please. Okay, um, what they're giving me here is, a, this is a very precise message for somebody. Now, um, they're showing me a scorpion, okay? So obviously this person could have a, a Scorpio placement, but more they're showing me like a Scorpio, uh, scorpion um, type tattoo or drawing or something. There's something about a scorpion, an actual scorpion. Um, it may even have black and red in it is what they're giving me here. Or it's either red or orange. It's kind of like an in-between color. It may have been faded slightly. Um, there's some indication there. I mean... It could be a drawing, it could be a tattoo, it's in that sort of style, um, but they're highlighting that to me in particular, so that may be an indicator in some way um, with regards to who we're talking with here. Um, they recognize the, the past life relationship, but something dramatic is coming on in, Leo. We have a new love, okay? And it says here, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, you may have waited for some time for your twin flame to kick up the dirt really and come towards you and this has been like going back and forth possibly for a while and twin flame energy is tough energy you recognize they are the person you are meant to find in this lifetime and meant to be with if the lessons the karmic lessons and the ascension is happening um, but you may feel like this person is not rising up at this time um, and new love is being sent into the mix for a couple of reasons. They're giving me a couple of reasons. One is, I feel like your person, your twin flame calls all the shots. They keep an eye on you also, Leo. It is this energy of, they're not ready for you right now, but they don't want you to have anybody else. In the meantime, it's quite a possessive kind of energy. Um, so this person's still in low vibe is what I'm getting, but we're gonna go deeper and find out who we're dealing with. But the universe has come along to bring you a new person into the mix to do one of two things. One is to kickstart your twin flame, to come running back. If that's what you want, Leo, we all have um, free will. You don't have to take pa back your, your, your uh, twin flame. But also, they recognize it is unfair. It is not, uh, you know, the, the karmic law of the universe, it is unfair to keep you hanging um, for love. You deserve love. And so they're bringing a new person on in. Um, towards you um it's almost like to for to also help you make your decision leo now they've asked me to look at this uh, card deeper so i'm going to one moment please wow okay Okay, I'm really not going to tell you what this message is because it's so rude. I, I don't know what energy I'm getting here. Um, it is 
Wow, I'm, I'm not. But anyway, basically, I'll let you read between the lines. They're really highlighting in this uh, card. They're, this feminine figure here um, is being presented with a rose by um, a soldier of some sort, uh, someone who's very gallant and brave and actually comes towards you there, Leo. Again, not about the uh, gender, it's about the energy, so it could be vice versa. Um, but what they're, giving, they're highlighting to me is that there is um, this feminine figure is holding a basket and there is a cockerel in that basket and they're basically saying you know something about the cockerel it's it's all very rude i'm not going to say it um is in the basket in the past okay so the universe is bringing somebody in to put it's almost like put your twin flame energy to bed for a little while whilst you have a wonderful romance that you're deserving of um because they're showing me here that your guides and um, spirit are being very mischievous. They want you to have fun. They want you to live life, enjoy life, and have a bit of fun. And if your twin flame is taking their sweet ass time to come towards you and rise in their ascension, then you deserve to have that wonderful fun um, in, yeah, in the frame. They're giving me in the frame. I, I, I think they mean form, but they're giving me frame for some reason, in the frame of new love, okay? So it'll all kick off because obviously your twin flame will sense you disconnecting from their energetic field and will feel that uh, there's uh, possibly someone new in the mix and then the twin flame comes running. It's an activation of jealousy, that's what I'm getting. Okay, drama, 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 Leo. Uh, let's go to the White Witch Tarot. Um, these are a series of major arcana cards. I'm just going to get the overall energy. Thank you so much. The Hangman. Yeah, we're suspended here. You're not waiting anymore. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know regarding Twin Flame energy? I'm checking with the current energies. Thank you so much. We have the Moon. <laughs> the Reveal. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Hermit. I knew the hermit was going to turn up there. Okay, so we have here the hangman energy, Pisces energy, and this is about um, suspension. It's about uh, putting yourself on that um, tree of wisdom, as it were, self-sacrificing your viewpoint, getting a different perspective on passion. And that is, you know, it's very painful. They're highlighting here um, these figures under the ground. Um, this has been a period of growth. When it's in, you know, when a seed is in the ground, um, it works away on healing, on breaking, uh, on breaking through that soil, making that breakthrough. But there's growing pains, and and as it rises up, you know, those growing pains heal by um, placing out these wonderful clean roots into the earth um, for a solid foundation of growth for the future. And they're, they're highlighting here how painful things are for you um, in this growing process with your twin flame. And they recognize that, you know, it's stagnant energy. It's stuck. Okay, someone is being selfish in this connection. And um, you just want to rebirth the situation. They're highlighting that, um, that skull to me, which is a death card energy. There needs to be some big changes here. There needs to be an ending and a new beginning to rebirth the situation and transform it. Because ultimately, Leo, you want your you want your happiness. Okay, you want your happy ever after. And maybe you've waited so long because we're, we're in hangman mode here. This is the protagonist energy that's moving you forward. Um, you're getting a new perspective and recognizing that life is too short. If your twin flame is not on the ascension path or continuously denies your connection and, and has this era of judgment, fearing the change that should be taking place, then you need to move on and you need to find love and recognize that you're deserving of beautiful, passionate love and you need to trust the process with that, okay? So this is not a mistake, this energy that you're feeling where you're like, maybe I should just move on. Maybe I should just... When you energetically release your twin flame, you can't break the bond. When you try and cleanse the bond or uh, or break the bond, you actually energize it so it, it, it becomes even more so. You know, you, you even think about this person even more and they think about you even more, but it doesn't actually jolt the person into rising up in the ascension and coming towards you. What does that? 
when you energetically release a person and refuse to think about them all the time and get on with your life, perhaps see someone else and move on, um, this is felt by your twin flame. They recognize the energy has been released and they are lost and it activates them into a higher level of consciousness and they start the journey into ascension. So they're, they're highlight, hmm, wonderful smell just came through there. Perfume. Um, it's kind of like a cotton, fresh cotton, maybe someone's doing their washing, their sheets or something. That's, oh, amazing. Oh, it smells incredible. Um, so uh, anyway, moving on from that, uh, it was wonderfully distracting. Um, they're giving me an image of if you can, if you chase after something, it'll keep running. But once you stop and you drop the energy and you're like, yeah, whatever, and you move on, that person that you're chasing or that thing that you're chasing stops and thinks to themselves, where's Leo? Nobody's chasing me anymore. What's going on? And then they start the thinking process. They start to wake up. Well, hang on a minute. This is a very important connection. I don't want to lose this connection. If I don't want to lose this connection, what am I going to do about it? Okay. So there is taking your own happiness into consideration here and reaching up for that sun. Okay. That's the, uh, that's the um, embodiment of the sun card. This is, you know, you want a successful outcome here. The sun is also a Leo energy. Okay. And also um, when we reduce a uh, number um, sorry, they're just giving me this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. When you reduce, uh, the, the, um, the hangman energy, hangman is number 12. Okay. When you reduce that, which is one plus two equals three, this is the empress energy. Okay. This is remembering your worth in order to reach up for your happiness. And when you do that, you activate your twin flame connection, um, and they start to um, see things very clearly. The moon energy. Now, this is in the antagonist position. This is the energy that is being put off. Okay, um, it's a refu again Pisces energy. A lot of Pisces going on here. Uh, we got Pisces and Virgo on the t on the board so far. So this is about. Um, there are unseen problems. Now, there's something to do with your person. Leo. Now this could be finances. This could be, we're going to go deeper and find out, but there's something that is actually preventing your person from coming forward. They will be revealed to you, but there is some unseen problem. Now I'm getting the feeling that it triggered you. Um, and it is something to do with trust. And it is something about the foundations of the way that your person grew up in a family unit. It could have been, um, they had very, um, toxic um foundation of family or um their adult um, it's bizarre they're not saying parents they're not saying mother or father they're saying their adult guarantors guardians guarantors okay so whoever their adult uh you know um the people who looked after them were brought them up um, it was very unbalanced, okay? There was a lot of trust issues in it, and they absorbed that, is what they're giving me. Now, this is something that they may not have talked to you about, but it's going to be revealed. Um, this is moon energy, so there is something comes to the surface that was below the surface for quite some time. You may have felt it because this person was triggered by you, your twin flame was triggered by you, um, and that led to the moving away from your energy. Um, but there will be some sort of truth revealed here. And it feels like, because it's in the antagonist position, Leo, I'm getting an energy of, I don't want to hear the truth. You treated me like that. I don't want to hear your BS. I don't want to hear nothing about it. You hurt me and nobody should have, uh, you know, get away with doing that. And that is absolutely right. No one should have, uh, be able to treat you the way that this person did. Um, but it feels like they want to come back and they want to explain themselves. Okay, they may even be energetically trying to call you in, in your dreams. You may have been um, receiving a lot of downloads from this person. They're trying really hard because they're starting to wake up to this bond that you and they have that is from past life. They recognize your bond is something different from anybody they've ever, ever known. Okay, the passion is off the charts, but there's something deep within them that knows you're different. And also... Um, 
They're also wondering why it is you trigger them in this way. It's almost like they love you to death, but there's something about this connection that scares the life out of them. And it's triggering. It may even trigger this playful kind of arguments that lead then lead get out of control and then they become serious and then people start wounding each other because this is a pattern that they've had since childhood and their guardians or guarantors or that's the words they're giving me before them did the same it is a passed down kind of um toxic cycle that your person is trying to break but they're not really seeing the full extent of it at the moment so then we have the hermit mode the unifying energy that is going to bring this all together leo is you walking away as i said right at the beginning walking away you have this new love that's going to be presented to you moving on into a spiritual realm where you uh, go deep within for personal quest for truth for spiritual illumination um also triggers your twin flame to do the same they go on a solo journey of illumination Okay, they get this clarity. Virgo energy, they start to see things clearly because they're also tired with the way that it disconnects or doesn't work. So Spirit is trying to guide you to say, you know, once you energetically release the field, the, the energy of this person, um, and this person wakes up, your twin flame just wakes up. And the thing that's helping it, actually, that gives you like a new lease of... Um, attention they're giving me attention um is this new love that comes on in now this new love can be awesome you know passionate sexy wise all of those wonderful things they're not your twin flame and you know that but if your twin flame is not ready and it seems like they're not doing the work then why should you be sitting around which i i really do not believe that that is happening for you leo because you know you're, you're you have a wonderful exciting life in uh, you know very passionate you should time waits for nobody um but what they're giving me here is if you cannot fulfill the soul contract with your twin flame at this present moment in time you're withdrawing that energy and that activates the process now we're going to go deeper and find out um who's coming on in for you uh what's happening with the twin flame very exciting a lot of drama happening here leo you're probably way over the drama by now you're like can i just move on to some love please thank you so much um but it is coming in for you let's see what's going on Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Very heavy energy with this deck. Oh, very, very feisty, Leo. Very feisty. Two of Cups. Ha <laughs> ha. I love it. Look what happens. As soon as we got that hermit mode, look what's happening. We have the ascension happening. We have the Two of Cups there, okay? So this is that partnership, this romantic love that's coming on in. This is soulmate energy when we get that Two of Cups okay this is before even the new love has come on in this person is recognizing the electric the electricity between you and again i cannot iterate enough what spirit is trying to give me here which is the minute you withdraw energetically from this twin flame connection this person is energized look at the electricity between these hands they want to come back in and they want to make you theirs this person very selfish energy especially when it's over that hangman because what they're giving me is this person, they don't want to lose you because they recognize how important you are, but they don't want anyone else to have you. So as soon as this new love comes on in as well, this is going to be, ooh, this is going to be hot, hot, hot times, okay? Um, but yeah, their bond with you sparks and they recognize you are the soulmate. And they want to come on in and offer you a, a next level up in the connection so if you're currently in separation they want to come in with a love offer to you okay they want to be in partnership with you um, if you're in a connection already um, and you're you're just dating at this present moment in time but you feel like there is some sort of emotional or spiritual distance between you then by you withdrawing you actually energize uh, th this connection um, if that's you have to trust your intuition as well because the moon is on the board there so you need to dig deep in your intuition as to how to um, navigate this energy but then you energize uh, the connection and you know you could be receiving a proposal like the next level up proposal of marriage that sort of thing either way it is about you both coming together in unity thank you so much 
Yeah. Okay, so um, what will come to the surface is we got the Hierophant card, okay? Now, this is Taurian energy, as I said, very stubborn. This person, stubborn on the outside, very, very soft and wonderful and nourishing on the inside. But the Hierophant is my marriage card. This person wants to go higher with you. They want to ascend for you, and that is the uh, energy that is coming on in. You make them happy. Okay, when we get the Hierophant, it's also number five, and that is about they have to overcome some obstacles, and they're giving me trust again. This is a trust issue, so your person may be quite jealous. They may have been quite jealous and possessive. I'm getting that kind of energy. Um, it may be mirrored as well, Leo, so you may have also been triggered in that way, and your person may have hid that kind of energy and made it feel like you were the possessive one, but actually it was a projection. Um, so the Hierophant, the, that number five is about overcoming obstacles, okay, in order to change and ascend. This person also may reveal, especially since it's over the moon card energy, they may reveal that they need some sort of um, higher level counseling or teaching. They need some sort of spiritual illumination there that makes them happy. It's like they need to go find their happy and they need balance as well. Um, yeah, they're also, there's some sort of wounding that they're giving me that was from childhood, uh, possibly about a three party situation. So it's about trust. It's almost like the people that they were brought up by, um, someone um, had an affair and this person is quite a lot they they when they were a child your twin flame actually believed very heavily in loyalty but then they were shown the damage of disloyalty and they felt torn between what it means to love and feeling resentment um at one person for their their dishonesty quite complex energy um, that they're giving me here. Um, now, also, this person may have reached out to um, do some sort of uh, meditation or th they're opening their crown chakra and they want to receive the downloads because there's something so deep within you that both of you have got to a certain place and it doesn't go any higher and then it sort of goes away. I mean, you, you both come together because you can't be without each other and you get to a certain plateau in your con connection and then it just doesn't ascend any higher and then it goes away. And this person wants to go higher. They want an ascension with you, but they don't know how. This person doesn't know how, and, but they have a sneaky suspicion that they have um, issues to um, heal before they move up. Now, they're also giving me here, um, it's ancestry. Yeah, so it is something that is passed down that they have been given They've been dealt a bum deal, uh, almost. Um, they've been given, it's been passed down. This uh, wounding has been passed down through generations and now it's your twin flames person to try and release that energy and heal it. It's very heavy burden. Yeah, four of swords, it's in reverse. So we have a lot of um, anxiety here. Your person's very anxious. They feel really exhausted. And that's why they've also gone deep within for uh, spiritual truth and illumination. They are ready to act, but they're not ready to speak their truth at this moment in time. They're looking after themselves and having some sort of healing. Oh, uh, they're also giving me these words. What a square. What a square. I'm guessing a square means um, the person's boring or something. Maybe your person or you say those words about somebody. What a square. I don't know. Uh, if that resonates for you, then it does. Um, I, I don't know. That's quite um, interesting energy. But it could be also um, that this person is learning. They're doing some sort of higher learning, perhaps, to further themselves in career. Because I, I, I guess squares, <laughs> the traditional meaning of squares, I think that, that those words are actually from the 70s or something. Um, uh, yeah, what a square. It might mean that they are studying for something. They're swatting up on something. Um, we have the Six of Swords, and it's in the reverse. This person, your twin flame, cannot move on without you. They, they, they're unable to move forward without you. They feel stuck. They know that you're the person, but they don't know how to heal the situation. 
and they don't know how to come to, towards you in communication. If only they knew. All they have to do is tell the truth, right? I mean, that's all we want in the world. Just be honest, upfront, tell the truth, okay? Live your truth with passion. Don't deceive. That's it. Now, I'm not saying that your person is deceptive. What I'm saying is your person just doesn't know how to come forward, doesn't know how come how to come towards you. Your twin flame cannot let you go. Um, and they, they will not let you go is the energy I'm getting. Um, they recognize that this connection is divinely guided. So they're starting to trust a little bit more in the universe. But you, Leo, I'm getting an energy of tiredness. You're world weary with that hermit energy. It's like, oh, I'm done. I've tried everything to make this connection work. And wh what do I have to give? And then you recognize what you have to give is your energy elsewhere, okay? And that activates the connection. Two of Pentacles, it gives your person a choice, okay? Your twin flame gets this choice once you walk away and they have to weigh up their options. Do they come forward for the higher and, and make this healing, have this healing for the higher ascension, ascension and reveal their truth to you? Or do they watch this new love come on in for you? Because this new love is coming. Okay, and your twin flame is going to be like, damn, I better hurry my stuff up. Look at that. Ace of Wands, as I said, is your new passion. Okay, now when we get the Ace, Aces are always new. Okay, so there is some sort of new desire to get passionate with somebody who's coming on in. Now this person is very much on your wavelength, okay? This, your crown ch chakra is open, your third eye is open. There's something special about this person who's coming on in for you that's new. There is a soul contract there, is what they're giving me. It's not twin flame energy, but it is a soul contract. Um, it is on offer for you, we all have free will. So you don't have to take it if you want to give your twin flame a, a chance, if your twin flame activates it on time and decides to come on in. Um, but what they're giving me here is this person who comes on in, this new passion, uh, very sexy, fiery energy, could be another Leo, could be Aries or Sag energy, very enthusiastic about life, very creative, definitely an achiever. Who, who goes after what they truly desire. This person has been hurt in a similar way to you and they get you, they understand you and they wanna be passionate and romantic. There's a lot of passion on the board for you, Leo. Um, so there is this option that's coming on in. I'm just gonna get comfortable, sorry. Just moving about a little bit. Okay, uh, this person has received a lot of pearls of wisdom as well. They're, they're very wise. So they do understand. Um, they're actually quite aw awoken, if that's a word. Um, they, they, they recognize they've been actually directed to you, Leo, by spirit. They recognize that, this person, when they come in. They, they, it's almost like there's too many synchronicities for you and this person to not to, to, to ignore. Okay, when it comes in, you're like, whoa, this person's like on my vibe. What, uh, should I be going for this person or should I be waiting for my twin flame? Um, there's going to be a serious choice here. Okay, now, yeah, your twin flame is, it's, it's interesting. We've got the five of wands. Okay, now the five of wands is about obstacles. Okay, whilst your twin flame is trying to get over their spiritual obstacles they recognize dun 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 they got rivalry okay when we got the five of wands that's about rivalry okay so that's a new challenge for them just when they were trying to work out um all their stuff to to come towards a, some sort of new passion towards you they recognize someone else is also in the frame okay now this person you may not this new person who's coming on in leo you may not even want to give them the time of day yeah it's a wonderful new energy. Flirting is not um, a crime as long as you're not leading anyone up the garden path. Um, but your twin flame, it's almost like your twin flame is like, ha, huh, now I've got a rival. Now I really need to kickstart my game even quicker. And they, they need to come on in with a solid offer in order to reach the passion that you are deserving of. And the love they gave and the love eight of wands watch that happen look at this 
Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands here. Quick changes. Oh yeah, this person's going to make some quick changes and they're going to come on in to speak their passion. As soon as they see you got somebody else in the mix, even if you don't choose this new love, this new love is, you know, it will pique your attention. It's nice to get a bit of attention, you know. Um, but as soon as your twin flame sees this, they're taking action. Okay, so here's the reveal. Your twin flame comes back in to be like, um, well, I, I want to go to the next level with you. You're my soulmate. You're my twin flame. I get it now. I, I didn't understand that. Uh, who's this person? And you're like, oh, what person? I don't understand. That's if you want to be with the twin, if you want to be the twin flame. But if you're bored with the twin flame waiting and you can't, you can't take it anymore because they're not stepping up their game, um, then you have the new love available. Now we have the nine of wands. Interesting. We have the nine of wands in reverse. So this is having faith and not being defensive about the situation and recognizing that there is, um, you know, you keep your boundaries down, but persistence, okay? So you get to choose. It's almost like you got your boundaries down and you're like, well, isn't this a different scenario to last year or whenever? Uh, the tables have turned almost, okay? So have faith. Um, when we get this card, this is also about an isolation period ending. So um, this is the her it's over the hermit um, card, which is a isolation, a self-imposed isolation. And we've got that nine of wands. It ends. OK, so spiritual illumination activated, um, going deep within, cutting yourself off to get that spiritual truth has come to an end and having faith that the universe will deliver what is meant to be next. And we have the King of Pentacles, okay? So this person, very jealous. When we have the King of Pentacles in reverse, your twin flame is off the charts, jealousy, okay? This person may have also had some sort of financial issues. Um, they, they may have chased their career and money, um, but basically your twin flame is coming back in really jealous. When we got that King of Pentacles, when you, if you even look up that card, King of Pentacles in reverse, first thing, first word they'll give you is jealousy. So this person is, um, they, your twin flame may act in low vibe uh, first off because, I mean, we're all human. Um, so there may be a, a jealous vibe that is happening at first. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Ooh, Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups here uh, in the reverse is fully learning from the past as they come back to you. OK, so they just want to recognize uh, spirit is. Uh, it's a recognition from spirit that, you know, both of you have to learn from the past um, more. So your twin flame, uh, but it's it's an energy they're giving me off. This person comes back to you. OK, they're jealous. Yeah, jealous as heck, but they want to learn. They don't want to make the same mistakes and they want to come back to you. They cannot move on without you is what they're giving me here. Thank you so much for it, guys. Ooh. Ten of Cups. Yeah, we had Unhappy Childhood. Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. So um, Ten of Cups in reverse. This person had very uh, huge family conflicts. OK, they felt very, very lonely, even in their own family unit when they were younger. And we got an energy in the reverse. We got an energy of foreclosure. They are closing um, through healing, um, past wounding with regards to their childhood, that Ten of Cups energy, okay? So this person is trying to release a lot. They're trying to release a lot in, in a really quick amount of time because they also see that you um, could be moving on to someone else. And they're like, Ugh! but they should have communicated that to you, not just left you hanging, wondering what the hell is happening here, okay? Life is too short. Who's waiting around? Nobody. So um, this is the energy they're, they're in. They're going to come in and communicate this childhood wounding to you. Um, this person really is stubborn. They, they are a really tough nut to crack. But they want, they feel like if they reveal who they are deep within, there is a weakness there. But actually, that's not the case. Leo, you want them to come forward and confide in you because then that is when trust happens we trust 
people, our counterparts, our romantic interests, our soul tribe, with the, the very delicate nuggets of who we are, the story of who we are deep within, what has sh uh, shaped us as we've grown, we only entrust that information to a certain number of people. And some people don't even entrust it to anybody because it is so sensitive. And your person, your twin flame is one of those. They don't really trust their truth, their um, foundation, their wounding with anybody, but they want to come in and they want to tell you why they are who they are. It may be too late if they've really done a number on you and you don't want to take them back. You have to trust your instinct and your intuition. Um, but we got Queen of Pentacles energy. They see you as resourceful, um, you know, doing you, um, you know, you got your, it's like you got it all going on. Virgo energy here, even though you're a Leo and, you know, your fire element energy, this person see you as, sees you as very grounded, okay? And they want to match that vibe. They, they may feel like right now, we're going to pull some more cards on it, but they feel like um, they're not, um, how can I put that? Uh, they feel like they're not mature enough to deserve you is what they're giving me. We again have soulmate energy. We got the king and we got the we got the king and the queen of pentacles here. Okay? So we again have um twin flame energy. But what they're giving me here is this person they sometimes act low vibe. They actually give oh. Please don't shoot the messenger, Leo. I'm going to give you what the word that they gave me which was oh, I hate to use it, but I'm going to say it anyway because that's what they give me. Neanderthal. This person they act, they're so passionate, it's almost like they're Neanderthal, okay? Like they sometimes, they, they, they go after what they want and they just take it. Um, they feel like they deserve it. Um, they're like a bull in a china shop kind of thing. They just, you know, sometimes even destroy everything because they just want to get their own way. A little bit diva, but also um, they give me Neanderthal because I'm getting from their Ten of Cups in reverse, this person did not have a solid grounding of what it means to love. This person feels like their energy of to love means to possess, and they've got it all wrong. But that's how they were given their start in life. Love is to possess, to have, to have objects, to collect people, not to love. Not, it's like to take, rather to love and to give. Okay, so they recognize that you are their counterpart and they want to build a home with you. Okay, um, but this person just doesn't know how to come on in. Um, it's almost like they're going to come on in being very, very jealous and kicking stuff all over the shop. Not literally, but emotionally. Uh, now, I'm just going to go to, uh, I was using the Light Sears Tarot for that uh, foundation spread, and I'm now using the Fountain Tarot by Jonathan Seuss to get, uh, oh, straight away, um, to get um, clarification. Yeah. So we have, again, the Queen of Coins, okay? Um, and we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So your person's quite cold. They, they lead with logic, okay? They may have been very unkind, and they just don't know how to come back and communicate to you because they were so unkind. They're definitely stalking you. Now, normally, my um, Page of Swords is a stalker, a lurker card, but they actually just gave me, look at the queen, she's behind the shield, watching, okay? So this person is watching you from a distance. Um, they want to speak their truth. It's in the upright but they don't know how to, so it keeps them stuck um, because of the way that they left it, the unkind way they left it. And they see, again, as I said, queen of coins. They see that you're doing so well, okay? Uh, have you, if you see, it's about the energy, not the gender, just to, again, to clarify. Um, but we got the two queens. One is in low vibe. They just don't know how to come forward because they're so logical in their head and they, rec they remember the unkindness they did, and they see that you're just this wonderful energy that is looking after yourself, growing your foundations, you're, you know, spiritually, you're grounded, um, but also that you're doing well financially, or you've got your shit together anyway, and they want growth with you. They see you as an earth goddess or god, you know, uh, someone who's very grounded, a lot of solid energy that could lead to a lot of growth. They just, they feel shame. They just gave me the word shame. 
and I don't know whether that is shame that the the union didn't work out first time around, but they want to come back around, or whether they're giving me the word shame because they feel shame. I'm, I'm getting the energy that this person feels shame. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Spirit Angels. Can you please clarify this reading for my beautiful Leo? Anything else they need to know? Could you give an indication about the new love that's coming on in? When it might come in? What's happening there? Thank you so much. Ooh. So we have eight of um, coins. It is in reverse. When it's in reverse, um, this suggests that your person is doing repair work. They had a lack of focus before, um, but and may have even put ambition and money over love, uh, but they're repairing themselves. Your twin flame is currently working out all the bits and pieces and slotting them into place. They're not there yet, but they, 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 may, they may communicate that with you. It's very interesting because they're highlighting that the only swords that are on the board is that queen of swords in reverse and also the Six of Swords in reverse. They feel stuck, they don't know how to speak to you, they don't know how to come through to you, um, but they want to, um, and they cannot move on from you. So they're just highlighting that there for me. Swords are about communication, just to let you know if you're not au fait with Tarot. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? Oh, how do you want to receive? Thank you. King of Wands. So here we go. We have the new, 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 new. We have a king of wands coming on in. This person, Aries energy, okay? Very fiery element here. This person is definitely, as I said there, it could be an Aries, could be another Leo, could be a Sag energy. This person is bold. This new person is coming on in, this new love, and they are charming and they're courageous, and they are coming to woo you. Okay, this person, they know where their happiness is at, Leo. And when they see you and connect to you, they want a piece of the Leo action. Okay, so they will have the courage to come towards you for their happiness. Okay, and as I said, they're very charming as well. Um, but they're a go-getter. There's no games with this person, this King of Wands energy. This person, and they, they bring passion, like they are on fire. So the new person coming on in here is going to... Ruffle a lot of feathers here, Leo. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? Any new information um, or any further messages uh, that you can give us regarding this situation before we close the reading? Thank you so much. Two of coins. Okay, so what we got here is that your person, your twin flame, has an inability to commit. They struggle. And this... <clears throat> oh. All of a sudden, losing my voice for no reason whatsoever. This person, it's almost like I'm getting a different energy. Where is this voice come from? I don't know. But anyway, um, what they're giving me, well, this is freaking me out. <laughs> what they're giving me here is your person does not, um, cannot speak their truth um, because it hurts them. It comes from their family wounding. Um, it's a trust issue and uh, that has led to them having um, problems committing because um, they feel like if they commit, they would actually um, make themselves so vulnerable they could be hurt like they were when they were in childhood. So this person does not want to... Um, they're afraid. They're afraid of committing. Okay, but it's a battle. They want to commit because they recognize the King of Wands is about to woo you off your feet and steal you away. And they're going to come on in and act all jealous. I don't know what voice this is or what energy I'm connecting to, but it's quite a low kind of masculine kind of energy here. I would like to... Okay, thank you so much. I'm just going to... Um, I'll read this card and then I'm going to disconnect from this energy. Seven of coins, it's in reverse. So the illusion ends, okay? Your person is restoring their sense. Um, they're restoring their sense of self. And also, this person, they're jealous. So you, okay, I understand. They're giving me here, your twin flame is very jealous. And... When they come in, recognizing that you have someone else as an option, if you want your twin flame, 
don't play one against the other because your twin flame, due to the childhood wounding they have, they give up very quickly because they are uh, they don't feel like they're enough. And if they work for something and there's no reward to it, they feel like, what's the point? I'm not good enough for this. And um, so just be careful, be mindful. There's something about their wounding here. Thank you so much. I'm just going to disconnect from this energy. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that, Leo. This is a very odd energy there. Uh, I had to disconnect from that because um, bizarre. Uh, sometimes that happens very rarely. Um, but maybe I had someone come through there that uh, is a masculine energy who wanted to give you a little bit of advice from the masculine side or the masculine perspective if we're dealing with masculine here. Sometimes it scares the bejeebies out of me. <laughs> you know, you can't, it just happens. Anyway, we're moving on from that. We got, yeah, Nine of Swords for sure. Okay, so um, Nine of Swords in the upright position. Um, this person is in a lot of anxiety, okay? They, they don't want to lose you, but equally, Leo, they, they actually, um, they caused you a lot of pain. So now they're worried that they don't know how to come towards you. They don't know how to speak their truth and they're stuck in their own anxiety. And um, so I'm just going to get an overall um, outcome here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Uh, can you please guide me to an outcome with regards to the Twin Flame energy for my beautiful Leo? Uh, an outcome regarding the Twin Flame connection that we're tapping into? Thank you so much. Five of Swords. They want to, self they want to stop self-sabotaging this connection. Okay, when we get that Five of Swords in reverse, they want peace. They want to come back in and they, they, they want to speak their truth. They want to tell you that they don't want to be sneaky anymore. They don't want to withhold information from you anymore. They want to give you the truth, the whole truth, and nearly all the truth. They've got one, they've, they're pointing at one sword, one sword that is like at half mast. The other four are upright. So this person wants to speak their truth, okay? So this is how it's going to end. They're going to come forward towards you, and, and they want to tell you how they want to stop self-sabotaging the connection or and and sabotaging the whole connection they want to take what's the word there? sorry there give me a word one moment please they want to take ownership of the part that they've played in making this relationship stagnant and stalling okay but they want peace they want to come towards you and and tell you how they feel um yeah, the four swords are pointed up, so you're, you're going to get a lot of the information from this person that, that they want to give their truth, but they're still undecided about telling you about one thing, and that could be to do with their childhood wounding. Um, but ultimately, they want to communicate with you, they want to come back in, and they want to have some sort of solid foundation that leads in trust. They want to tell you about that, okay? Um, okay? Hangman in reverse. Uh, they just asked me to quickly look at the bottom of the deck and it's actually hangman in reverse sorry hangman in reverse and your first card was also hangman so again they want to communicate that they were very selfish and um that they uh want to get a new perspective they want to hear you out as well leo they want to hear what you've got to say okay so uh there is a moving on from the stagnant energy is what do they want to talk about because they feel stuck right now they want to know how can we fix this how can we move on Okay, uh, that was quite an intense reading. Um, I don't think I've ever done uh, an online um, reading before where uh, I've channeled uh, a very interesting energy there <laughs> that has even changed my voice. But anyway, let's move on. Um, we're going to the Wisdom of the Oracle uh, for Colette Baron Reed's um, final messages. Thank you so much. Um, any wisdom that they want to impart with you before we close the connection. And we have all that glitters, Leo. And it's in the reverse. All that glitters. So yeah, we, uh, they, 
it's in the reverse there. So um, I'm just going to show it briefly to you in the upright. In the upright, it means obviously someone is wearing a mask. Yeah, or two people even wearing a mask. It takes two to tango. So maybe uh, you're also being asked to look at your part in where you may have hid some of your feelings, Leo. Um, not out of uh, dishonesty, but because of fear or even that, you know, uh, you felt like the your twin flame was not reciprocating. So you had to build a boundary so they couldn't get in as deeply as you would, would, would have wanted them to. But it's in the reverse. So the masks are off. Okay, your twin flame wants to come towards you in authenticity and they recognize that they went after um, their career. They sort of um, thrived on building a financial foundation and they recognize that love's more important now. They, they, they made a mistake. Okay, we're going to read from the book as well. Um, Okay, so also they're giving me, uh, it, the, the card is number 16, and when you reduce number 16, it becomes 7, so 6 plus 1 is 7 there, and that is the card of action, okay? They feel like, it's in the reverse there, so they feel like they need to take action, and they want to change things, but there is a delay because they, they're just doing some healing work, and they're acknowledging their childhood wounding. We're going to read from the book. Um, because I don't want to tell you anything that uh, isn't uh, true there. Uh, let's see. So we have All That Glitters, number 16. You get the protection message in reverse, uh, because the card is in reverse. This is a signal to walk away from something that you're con. I'll start again. This is a signal to walk away from what you're contemplating. There is a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath. Pursuing it will only bring about a difficult situation you will be sorry you got yourself into. Stay away. Isn't it wonderful how spirit protects you? Better things await. Now, that's a very interesting message there, Leo. Now, this could be, um, there's two things now, but you've got to trust your intuition. That's obviously why that moon card has come up here. Now, that could be um, when this new person comes on in and your twin flame gets all jealous and up about it, you may feel like you're enjoying the um, attention. Now, I don't feel like you would do that, but there are sometimes, you know, we get lost in the attention. It's nice. When nobody's been paying attention to us, we enjoy the attention we're being given. They want you to walk away from contemplating playing one of the other because when humans do that, we lose across the board. You know, you may win the battle, as it were, but you lost the war. You know, it's that sort of energy. So that may be what they're talking about with all that glitters, but also mm, okay. Um, your twin flame is very, very jealous. Um, <laughs> very uh, intense energy. So th they don't want you to play any games in terms of making that person even more jealous than they may be. So they want you to walk away from that as well. Um, but you need to trust your instincts on uh, this all that glitters uh, is not gold card. Uh, we're just going to go uh, and get a trinket to close the reading. Thank you so much for your guys, White Angel. What do my beautiful Leo need to know with regards to this connection? Hmm. So, we have a hand. And it says, handmade. Okay, they're highlighting to me all the hands that actually have turned up in your reading which is very, uh, very important. Uh, I'm just gonna put that other trinket there. We have the hangman, which is reaching up for your happiness. And we've also got the two hands coming together in the unity um, for the twin flame connection. They're highlighting those two hands. Um, handmade, okay? So perhaps you uh, or your person um, works in an industry where you make handmade gifts or products um, to sell. Something to do with your uh, job. I just got a knock there on the wooden uh, board there. Um, there's something about your job um, that is to do with your hands or your person's hands um, that is a signifier. Okay, where would you like this? Handmade. They actually wanted it on the hangman. Okay, because it's an important message to reach up for your happiness. Go where you are happy. Trust your instincts, but follow your happiness. Follow your bliss. We all have free will. 
trust in yourself. And we also have the key with a heart on it, which is trusting that you have the key. You have what it takes to unlock true love that you are deserving of and that is theirs for you to take. It, you know, there is a... Mm. They just said, which lock fits the key? I guess it's the other way around, which key fits the lock. But they've given it to me in which lock fits the key. So they're giving me here two locks, your twin flame lock and the new love. I guess um, you're going to find out. Okay, uh, where would you like this? Where would you like this? Ooh, they want it on the moon card because this is the energy. Something is coming to the surface. There will be a reveal. There's some sort of truth coming out or some sort of reveal coming towards you, some sort of mystery that comes to the surface. Changes everything and you get to decide. You get to write the script according to your heart, Leo, is what they're giving me. Okay, quite intense energy there with my beautiful Leo. would we'll leave it there. Um, it, I hope something resonated for some of you out there. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonated with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Now, they're giving me an image just before I go. Um, looks like tofu. It could be square omelet type egg squares or something very precise food um, if you eat that or if that is something you're making at this present moment in time then there's something in this message for you okay I can't really make out what it is it looks like tofu uh, but it also looks like little pieces of omelet that are uh, or egg that are in square shapes okay I uh, will leave it there thank you so much my beautiful Leo love and light